one word. Your participation trophies are given out as easily as Jolly Rangers. One person has persevered and defied the odds. Insert your name here. Welcome back, We Thrive Tribe. It's me, Joy, your host and founder of the We Thrive Tribe podcast. Imagine for a moment that your life is being made into a movie. Yours. Yes, yours. Do you want the narrator of the teaser to start with something like, in a world where participation trophies are given out as easily as Jolly Ranchers, one person has persevered and defied the odds. Insert your name here is the resilient satyr yes it's made up it's it's the title of a movie we can do that (laughs) there are a lot of ways that you could begin this and a lot of fun that you could have with it but the point is that when we talk about resilience sometimes it seems so heavy like we think it's this big heavy voice or epiphany or set of circumstances or actions that must be done out of habit And there's great news that I want to give you to just take some of that load off. Resilience doesn't have to be heavy or hard. A lot of you are already so resilient by the way that you come into your jobs day after day after day, even though you could have given up. Or the decisions that you make to say yes to yourself or no to the things that you don't want to do. Some of you are resilient by doing the things that you have to do until you can do the things that you want to do. Many of you watching this are resilient because you have overcome so much. It's the little things that you naturally do that you may think, oh, that's no big deal. But for some people, it would have been a, an obstacle that they couldn't have gotten over. Are you great at sales? then you know that overcoming objections is a huge part of that. And you do it so naturally, you probably take it for granted. But you're resilient enough to do that job, to make that sale. Are you creative? Well, if you've ever experienced writer's block or you've looked at a a blank canvas and you weren't exactly sure what you were going to paint, but you stuck with it until you got that inspiration, or you just started painting to get yourself into the mode of, hey, I'm going to do this. That is resilience. The bottom line is some of you need to give yourself more credit and more grace. Resilience equals refresh, refocus, and re-engage. That's right. Resilience is refreshing yourself when you need to. It's okay to take a break, Your body needs it. And there are different ways you can give your body and your mind that. So now, after you've refreshed, you obviously need to refocus and get back to looking at the big picture. Your big why. Your big no. Your big, yo, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Refocus on what's around you and how grateful you are to still have the ability to choose. And then re-engage. Re-engage with your goals. Re-engage with that work. Re-engage with being the wonderful you that you are naturally. Resilience doesn't always have to be such a hard obstacle. It's how you define it. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to share more with you about breaking those steps down so that you can realize just how great you are And the goals that you put on the back burner, you can re-engage with those because you've taken the steps to refresh and to refocus. Now it's time for Guess What I'm Eating. First, I want to congratulate Mrs. Super Mama. Wow, you are a fantastic, loyal watcher. And I appreciate you. You also did a great job of guessing last week's Guess What I'm Eating segment. It's powdered sugar. (laughs) If you want to hear how I described it, check the link in the comments for links to previous episodes. And a big shout out 
to Yolanda Greer, who also guessed in another episode that I'm eating an orange. If you want to hear how I describe that, the link is in the comments. Now, it's time for this week's Guess What I'm Eating. Here's how it works. I'm going to describe a food. Take your guess in the comments, and then I'll shout you out in an upcoming episode or between episodes. All right, let's get started with this week's Guess What I'm Eating. It's the perfect buddy to bacon, eggs, and grits in the morning. You could even turn it into a sandwich. The fluffiness hits my tongue, which is comforted by its warmth from the oven. Whether it has something spread on top or the middle, it's good on the go or at the breakfast table. Okay, We Thrive Tribe. Guess what I'm eating. Put your guess in the comments. I read each and every one of them. And also let me know what you got out of this episode. I'll be happy to cheer you on as you got epiphanies, aha moments, or different things that you can take away and apply to your life. Well, We Thrive Tribe, that's it for this episode. I look forward to seeing you next week. In the meantime, keep believing, progressing, and thriving.